Welcome everybody to the largest residence on the market in all of Miami with 27,808 square feet of a living space. This home features 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, one half bath, a movie theater, a bowling alley, 18 and a half acres, an on-site lake with fresh water, a resort style pool and entertaining area. And this is one of the most spectacular residences that you will see on YouTube. It was built in 2022. And without further ado, let's check out this mega mansion in Miami's Homestead neighborhood. And check out these ceilings. Come on now, let's go. <laughs> Now, before we enter and show you the inside of this mega mansion, I wanna show you what it looks like when you pull into the residence, all right? So this is your entrance. You have an iron, massive iron gate behind us here, opens up with the structure around it, and then you enter to this right over here. You notice it's a nursery, a, a, a nursery of trees behind us, very extremely tall palms throughout. Literally feels like we're in the middle of the jungle. George! George of the jungle is holding the camera. That's actually George. George, his name is George. It's Jorge, but George, same, same thing. Anyways, this is the main entrance. Your guests will be arriving, looking at this tree canopy here every single time that they enter and when you enter your home as well. Now, as for the service entrance, there's a second gate on the other side of the property where anybody who's a maid, staff of the property, they all enter through that side over there, but you are gonna be entering through this side all every single day. And the property is 18 and a half acres. It's a massive property with so, so much to do. And this video is very special. So now we're gonna go and walk to the actual home and we'll see you there. So when you pull your car up along the driveway, you keep driving, 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 and this is where you end up. It's a large area for you to park your cars, and there's an eight car garage right behind us. Eight. Ocho. Yes, eight cars right there. Four on one side, four on the other side. It's a really deep garage. And then of course that gives you entrance right into the house if you live here. But if you're a guest, you're gonna walk down this path right over here, and we're gonna go to the front of the house. Come on. So as a guest, you walk through here. You have basically a coral rock wall that was basically the coral rocks from where the lake is right now. But we'll get into that a little bit later because there is a lake on the property. But you're walking along this path and you have beautiful like big yard area over here. The parrots are over there. You say hi to the parrots. Hey parrots, macaw, macaw, macaw. <laughs> and then you're looking at this pool area with the tiki hut. Uh, and yes, this is technically the front of the home. You have to have a grand entrance, so why not have your guests look at what they're gonna enjoy while they're here? Water feature coming down right into the pool, but we'll get into the pool in a second. First, let's go and show you this house. Massive mega mansion with just under 30,000 square feet of living space. You heard that right. Without further ado, let's go check it out. So you walk in to this 2022 built mega mansion, okay? And you have 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and one half bathroom. Walk in here and you have 25 foot plus ceilings, extremely high with the glass dome above. And you hear my echo throughout because this is the best part of the house. People come and this is where they are greeted. It's like just so grand, the most grand home I've probably ever seen. We've probably ever seen on this channel. And you have an indoor water feature here, which is right in the middle of the dome as well. And all the bedrooms upstairs, all six of them, overlook this dome, atrium, courtyard area, right? Because this is essentially a courtyard and all those important spaces are off of this like indoor courtyard, I guess we could say, right? So first, we're gonna show you the entire first floor. We're gonna show you the second floor, 
with the primary suite upstairs. And then we're gonna show you the amenities, like the fun stuff about the house inside. And then we'll show you the fun stuff outside. So it's a lot of house and I hope you're ready for it. So you saw the entrance here, right? And then we work our way here and we're gonna show you the right side of the entryway here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on this side is where you have the amenities. Again, we're gonna show that to you towards the end. You have a seating area right over here, all right? A little bit more of a warm seating area. I would call this the intimate living room, meaning your living room here, and it's not so grand, it's not so open, it's not so spacious. You're more close to people where you're conversing and maybe you're a little bit more intimate, right? But then you have the social area here where you might have a lot more people that you're entertaining. And this is where you do that. You notice the coffered drop down ceiling above with this beautiful light fixture that hangs down with the fish on the design as well and the crab, that is really, really neat. Marble floors throughout the entire property and the baseboards, impact windows of course throughout overlooking your, essentially your whole yard right? Uh, but this is the living room. This is where you're going to socialize with a lot of people, right? This is where I would say the less intimate setting uh, of, of, of socializing, right? So that's this area here. And again, there's a lot of spaces to entertain here, right? Uh, it's not just these spaces. This space here is massive, as you can see. And just the amount of light that comes in here is unreal. Now you look at these beams right over here, and these were hand painted. If you'll notice, they're hand painted from the bottom to the top, which is really, really nice. And they're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost 14 of these beams that were hand done, right? And then we're over here and this is the dining room, okay? Dining room with the drop down coffered ceiling once again, and the really cool light fixture that has fishies on it as well. Uh, and then this is the dining room. Now the dining table could be bigger. Let me just tell you that. You have right here, this fits 10 people but you could have a dining room table that possibly fits 20, I would say. This is a little bit small for the space that it really is. It's a huge space overlooking the entire garden once again. And of course, if you're in the dining room, the dining room has to be close to the kitchen, right? So I'm gonna take you that to right now. You have surround sound speakers throughout as well. If you notice also the linear diffusers, the air ducts, they are flush, crisp, clean, modern, and they are massive. When you look right up over here, those, those air ducts, those linear diffusers are probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in a residential property, all right? So, and this is actually one of the largest residential properties in all of Miami, so I guess that makes sense, right? And it's the largest one in the market, like we mentioned before. So this is the kitchen. Two islands, not one, two islands. This island is just for the entire family to sit. So not only do you have the dining table, the dining area, the massive dining room, you have this breakfast nook. I would say this is probably the biggest breakfast nook in Miami. If it's not, comment down below what house has a larger breakfast nook, because this is the biggest one I've ever seen. You fit two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 12 people, really beautiful, nice quartz countertops here, and it's the waterfall that goes all the way down as well. You have storage space on each side of the kitchen. You have an Xbox in your kitchen. Have you ever seen that? I've never seen it either. And this is a first. And this is a house where you've never seen a lot of the things we're about to see. Um, so here you have more storage space as well. The TV over here. Uh, and then you have a wine fridge right over here for you to store all of your wines. You have Wolf oven, double oven over here. And you have a Wolf gas cooktop. Look at that backsplash there. Absolutely stunning. It's marble with like a tribal design in between. I really love that. And then here you have your pot filler. This is where you get your water. Your water goes, so you don't have to go to the sink when you're cooking some pasta. You know, every, every Italian is going to love that. The pasta is going to come out amazing, right? Yeah. Anyways, refrigerator over here, refriger, refrigerator over here. We'll open that up just so you can get a glimpse of this big boy here. Massive refrigerator and freezer there. And then you have your dishwasher, double dishwasher, by the way, right here next to the sink. This is the sink over here. You know we like sinks with a view, and this sink overlooks the view of your indoor courtyard, I guess we can call, and your entire living space. Dinner's ready! Everybody's gonna hear you with the echoes throughout the house. Beautiful sink here. Love the countertop once again. There you see the two dishwashers, storage space galore, storage along the sides over there. 
storage under over here, microwave. You have all this storage space here. Check this. Oh my God, for your condiments, isn't that great? Soft clothes there. I like the grays, I like it. I like how it all kind of comes together, right? Now you're thinking, oh, but where do I put like, like the pantry stuff? <laughs> Come over here. Don't mind any mess you see. This is where we have all the equipment hidden over here, uh, but this is your pantry. Come look at this, get a, get a load of this one here. This pantry is huge. It's a big house, so you need a big pantry, right? And we don't usually show you these things in tours. We don't show you the pantries all the time because the pantries aren't always all that great. But this pantry is worth seeing. And then over here, we have the laundry room and this connects as well from this pantry area, right? So you have the laundry room right off of the pantry area. Now, we're gonna show you, you know, just kind of go this way just to get back and show you a little bit of a formal how things go, how flow. So over here, right, we're back in the kitchen. Over here is the eight car garage, right? With a mud room as well. I wanna point that out. I wanna show it to you. So this essentially, you could make it a little nicer if you wanted to, but this could essentially be like a mud room where you put your, your, you know, your clothes or whatever that may be right over here and your eight cars are right behind you, all right? Now we're back into the kitchen like we've seen like five times, but now we're gonna show you around downstairs, everything, right? We still haven't seen the, all of the downstairs. So we've seen the, the more intimate living room, the living room, or rather family room over there. We've seen the kitchen, we've seen the dining room. Now we're gonna take it over here where you have your laundry room, which we just saw that also connects to the kitchen. Back here, water feature, overlooking this beautiful glass dome atrium. These are your, this is your royal staircase that leads up to the six bedrooms. But over downstairs, you have four bedrooms, right? So on this side, right over here through these doors, you have this little seating area and you have two bedrooms and they're massive bedrooms. They are huge and they both share one bathroom, right? So this is great for guests, great for visitors. They could stay here in these two bedrooms and share a bathroom. And then we have another two bedrooms. We walk down this way, right? Another little area, little, you can make this another seating area if you'd like. This is your garage, my garage, your elevator. I apologize. A lot of things we're seeing today. This is your elevator. It takes you straight up to the second floor. That's important. And that is just a storage closet under the staircase. And then over here, we have another two bedrooms that share a bathroom. This one's Jack and Jill. But I want to point out, let me show you one of these bedrooms. Let's show you this one over here. This bedroom's here. They're massive bedrooms, right? So you have really high ceilings in all of the bedrooms. They all have the windows. Uh, <laughs> it's just a lot of bedrooms to show you. So we're showing you the B-roll in all of the bedrooms because I think that gives you a good gist of it. Uh, but I mean, your guests, let me tell you, your guests will never want to leave. I wouldn't want to leave this either, right? So that's the downstairs, most of it. There's still one piece that we're missing right over here. Okay, so you notice everything is kind of like off of this water feature like we've pointed out, right? Over here is where you have your powder room, all right? Your powder room here with a beautiful black countertop. I love it. And this is kind of like a rock, kind of uh, a, a, a nice sink here. I love that. And then you obviously have your toilet over there. So this would be that one powder room for your guests. And then right over here is just storage, more storage space uh, and, you know, smart home, uh, smart home features that connect to everything in the house. So. That's downstairs. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. That is a lot of house. Uh, now we're going to go up these stairs and show you the secondary bedrooms for the kids. And then we'll show you the primary suite. Come on. So you come upstairs, right? You have this grand staircase right over here with the step lighting as well so at night you have lights to light up your steps so you get some pep in your step as you come up your stairs right so upstairs again as we mentioned you have six ensuite bedrooms including your primary suite we're going to show you these four on this side first and we'll show you the master afterwards so this is the first bedroom right over here you have one bedroom here it's a massive room two beds 
So you could essentially just put one bed and a seating area overlooking your mature landscaping over there. And then here you have your bathroom. In this bathroom, you have the marble floor, the floating vanity with the LED lights under, and you have the quartz countertops, and you have your shower with really, really nice stone throughout the entire shower, right? And uh, since we're here looking at these doors, these are real wood doors, and they're the same doors that you see throughout the entire property, and you have seen them, which is real, real nice. These are wood floors in the bedrooms. They give it a little bit of warmth, and then you have a walk-in closet right over here. All right, so we come down back to the hallway, overlooking, again, that massive domed area. And here you have another laundry room, all right? Laundry room upstairs is the second one. So you have one downstairs and you have one upstairs, which is very convenient, all right? Then you keep walking down the hallway. You can have a nice piece of art here, right? Maybe like you can frame a picture of me or George. <laughs> and then over here, we have the second bedroom that we've seen upstairs. Now, once again, similar finishes that you'll see in the bathroom and similar finishes in the room as well. Wood floors. This one has more of like a green uh, accent wall here overlooking the tree canopy again and a walk-in closet with the bathroom and similar finishes. The rooms are huge. These are, these are like sizes of master bedrooms in a lot of other homes that we've seen on these tours, right? Especially this one. So this is the third bedroom. Look how big this is. This is massive. You have the bed here in the corner. You can literally do so much with this space. Again, this is like the size of a primary suite in most homes. Walk-in closet over here, bathroom over here with the similar finishes, but this one's pink. It's for a girl, All right? So this one, you have the floating vanity once again, the same tile throughout, very similar as well. And here you're looking out uh, to the tree canopy once again. And then over here, you're back to the hallway and you have another area for you to put some art and display your art here. And then you have an AC unit here. We don't need to see that. And this is a, I would say the junior primary suite. So this is not the, ma the master, right? This is a huge room, seating area, the bed, overlooking the trees. And then over here, you have your own Juliet balcony overlooking the, essentially the front of the house where the pool is, the lake view, pool view, all of that. So you could literally step outside here, hang out, enjoy the breeze. And then also, of course, with this massive room, you have a walk-in closet and the bathroom with, again, the same marble tile throughout and the same finishes with the floating vanity. And this one's pretty nice. You get, uh, I think this room has its own separate AC from what I've been told, uh, which is really nice. And it's kind of just like another primary suite, right? And just to give you an, a sense, because we haven't, you've probably seen them in the B-roll, but this is the walk-in closet here, good size closet, right? So that's the fourth bedroom up here, okay, that we've seen. All really nice because you overlook this over here, all right? You overlook the, the entrance, the dome, the glass dome, because this is honestly the highlight of the house, right? This is where the magic happens, right? You have an event. George, angle right there. Look at this. You have an event. Wait, George, angle, angle over there. Oh, angle over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, just, sorry, sorry to get George out of his tracks. Event, right? Everybody, I would just like to say thank you for arriving. We just purchased this property and you are the special people in our lives. And then you give a speech, like a motivational one. You can work hard, but you gotta play hard. And this is a result of the hard work, you know, like, you know, you could do that. George is inspired. Anyways, so we're gonna go check out the primary suite now. But before we do that, come over here. You have this really nice bridge connecting, a really cool bridge over here, right? And then here you have your coffee machine. This is where I was having my coffee earlier, all right, with the little sink. And it's right off of the primary suite, but hold your horses, all right? The elevator arrives right up here, elevator. And then over here you have what is a, uh, a bedroom over here. This is one of the bedrooms. It's probably one of the larger ones too. You have a desk, you have two beds in here, and you have a full bathroom and a walk-in closet as well. So this bedroom is a good size, all right? But the best size bedroom is for you. Right there behind the screen. So let's go, check it out.
double door entry to your primary suite. And this is probably the largest primary suite you have ever seen on YouTube. And if you've seen a larger one, comment it down below because I don't know, I've never seen anything this big. You have a dramatic entrance, long hallway here as you walk through, right? And then you have these really nice little nooks that are hand painted just like the pillars downstairs, hand painted trimming right around here, which is really nice. You could put some art and also these little windows. You see this is stained glass and this stained glass window, you see it from the courtyard as well, which is pretty neat. And it's along the entire master bedroom wall. So this is the entrance here. And then your primary suite. Isn't this sweet? This is incredible. This is the largest primary suite I've ever seen. It's massive. That is four mattresses. You got that right. Four beds, technically one. You can sleep wherever you want on the bed. You have as much space as you want. That's space for a king. You're wondering where the TV is? It's right in here. Right in here, your TV pops up with a click of a button and you're watching TV on your, this is not a king size bed. This is a king, 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 king size bed. Wait, king, 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 king size bed. King, king, king times. King, king, king size bed. Cause king, king to the power of four bed. I like that. I like that, George. King to the power of four. So this is a, no, but king to the power of four would mean that it's 16 of them. Let's not, let's not get into that. Look at the ceiling above. You have the nice drop down ceiling with kind of like a dome feeling there too. You have the speakers throughout the entire bedroom as well. Now you have a seating area right over here, right? Which is pretty, pretty nice. This seating area here has access to a Juliet balcony overlooking your pool, your water feature, and you get the lake view as well, which is really nice. And then all the windows are looking out to the trees and above the roof. And then over here, you get a massive <laughs> outdoor terrace here. This outdoor terrace is really, really nice. And it's just for the primary suite and it's overlooking that pool area, right? So this is the room here. Again, we noticed you have the stained glass windows. This is another space here. You could do yoga in the morning, maybe hang out, whatever. You could even get creative with the space and do something that fits your needs, right? But this built, I mean, the built outs around the bed, the bed itself is just crazy. The space is crazy. And then you have the double door entry into the bathroom. And you're going to get this. This is probably the second one that we've seen on this channel. Uh, but we have two toilet rooms here. Now, this is a standard toilet room where you have the toilet, you have the sink, and you have a little station area there, a uh, vanity, floating vanity for you to store some things. Now, this side over here is really cool. Why is it cool, you say? What do you notice here that's different? Da 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 da! It is a urinal and a Toto urinal, very nice urinal here, with the vanity, uh, your sink, you have floating toilet here and then you have more storage space here along this wall so you have two bathrooms in one we're not done yet in here we're not done all right so this is right here is the master bathroom all right you have double vanity over here so along with the vanities the sinks that are in the actual bathrooms there you have here two vanity sinks so you to brush your teeth in the morning get your stuff done storage space all along it's beautiful floating it's gray it matches the the, uh, the, 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 the features throughout the entire property. And then over here you have your shower. It's a shower for a party. You have two rain showers. You have the jets, the body jets, and you have literally everything that you could possibly imagine in there. And what I love about the stone is the stone is along the walls and on the ceiling. And it's like a kind of like a, a circular dome like ceiling, which is really, really nice. And then over here you have your makeup station, right? Makeup station here. You have your chair down over here so you can get your makeup done at night or in the morning or wherever. And then over here you have your massive walk in closet. This is a huge walk in closet completely built out. And then you have this really nice big island for you to store your important things in life. But this is huge. This is all so huge. This is a dream come true. This is a castle. This is like the primary suite that you dream of in your dreams. Because where else would you dream? I guess you could dream in real life, right? You could daydream, says Jorge. You could daydream. 
So this is the primary suite. Now, I think we've already seen the bedrooms, the upstairs, you've seen it all. So now we're gonna show you the amenities of the home. So let's go check them out. It's a lot, let's go. So now we're going to the fun parts of the house. Behind you here is the courtyard, you have the family room, the intimate living room over here, and then this side is where the fun happens. Stained glass on the sides, as we've seen throughout, up in the master, and your double door entry over here to your massive meditation room. Wood floors, you notice the walls are painted like the pillars outside, and then you have this dome-like feature above that's for a fresco. This is kind of like a fresco. There's no, I guess the design of the fresco is the colors that you see there with the lighting. You have these speakers in here. You have the stained glass windows here as well. And this is where you meditate. And when it's quiet in here, it's really, really quiet. So massive couch there, I think this is great just for you to sit here and really appreciate the surroundings. And part of meditating is going to this space over here, which is extremely important. So you have this area here for you to take care of your mind and your body, right? So over here, you have a massage room. Get your massage right here, a sink over there, everything that a masseuse would need. And you have the fresco above and this little uh, cove here, it's pretty nice, uh, you know, to add to that feeling as well. It really feels like we're in a completely different world, especially when you look at this door here, right? So that's your massage room. You get a massage and then you hop in the sauna over here. Again, this is where you're taking care of the mind, body, and the soul, right? Everything here, right? You close that door. I love the door there. It's so nice. And then you, after all that, you come and you take a shower right over here. Right? And again, you have that really nice dome-like ceiling with the tiling above, which is really, really nice. And this is just an area for towels. And then you have a bathroom over here with a double vanity and the Toto toilet that opens when you get in front of it. All right, so this is the area that you're gonna take care of yourself, right? Super important area, right? Maybe you could even turn this into a gym if you wanted to, right? That could be that. Or if you liked it as a meditation room, you could leave it as a meditation room. Now you're probably saying, oh, but it could also be a movie theater. Stop in the name of love. George was like, what? So come on, follow me. We're gonna go see the movie theater now and the bowling alley, come on. So we're gonna walk down over here. We're back over here, that's the main house there, right? And then over here, you have two areas for you to put up some beautiful art. They have the art ready here to put up. And then you have another bathroom, all right? This is another bathroom with a shower, toilet, and a vanity. And this could also serve as uh, the cabana bath because the bathroom leads to the outside. Now, we are going to the movie theater and the bowling alley, don't. Don't be, don't, don't be concerned. I'm not taking you outside just yet. I'm gonna show you around the outside. Oh, look at the peacock. The peacock's on the billiards table. Look at that. Hey, peacock. <laughs> hey, how you do? Uh, okay, see you later. <laughs> that was good. All right, wait, we, we, we can't get ahead of ourselves. Let's enter the entertaining space, shall we? So now we are in the movie theater, all right? Movie theater and the bowling alley, but one thing at a time, one thing at a time. Here is the actual theater, all right? You have the really cool couches here. The couches are awesome, right? But what's even awesomer is how big this screen is. Look at this. One, two, three, four of me. I don't know if I measured that correctly. Four of me. That is huge, that's like an actual movie theater. The projector's up there, blackout curtains throughout. You turn off the lights and it's pitch black. Scary movie. House is shaking. 
and you actually get scared. Bar right over here. Look at this countertop, Onyx countertop with the lighting inside as well. You can change the colors if you want on the remote. And this is the bar, right? It makes you feel like you're actually in a movie theater. Refrigerator, microwave, where's the popcorn? We'll bring it for you at the closing. <laughs> and then over here, we have the actual bowling alley. This is pretty neat though, this is, I, this is cool. Look at this, you put like Coca-Cola is there, like glass Coca-Cola, that'd be, it's pretty cool. And then again, here's a bowling alley. We got our shoe sizes around here, all right? We could just take off our shoes and then put on the one to our liking, but we don't have to do that. Um, I, I, I don't know why I took off my shoes. Uh, but I don't want to. I don't want to play with it because it's new, right? So I don't want to break it. You break it, you buy it. I, if I buy it, I'll invite you. So here you have the actual bowling alley. You got the bowling balls there. You can put the system there, just like in like in where you play. TV's on. Put in your name, and you play bowling. Like this is incredible. And look at the ceilings, right? It's like a dome like, and the ceilings with, with the lighting, the LED lighting in between as well. And then you have, I mean, the pictures of the family, whatever, all that is beautiful. This is incredible. I love this. Let me put my shoes back on. I really don't know what the purpose of me taking off my shoes was, but we'll just put them back on. So now that's, that's the bowling alley, and this is the movie theater and the bar area. This is where you're gonna spend a lot of time entertaining with the family, like having fun, right? But where are you also gonna have fun? outside. So walk out of the movie theater, you have the area over there, massive covered area for you to play some pool. That's where the peacock was earlier, right? And then you walk across, all right? And this path over here takes you to the, basically where your staff home is. So there's a staff home with basically six bedrooms, okay? so. A completely separate home. It's not included with the living square footage of this main home, and that's just for the staff. Six bedrooms. You heard that right. Six bedrooms. There's also like a little kennel area slash basketball court uh, that they have there as well, and that's where the second entrance is that we mentioned in the beginning of the video, right? And then uh, down that path, in the in the back as well, you have tons of exotic vegetation, landscaping, fruits, you name it. It's got it. Birds. The parrots, they're there. There's even an African flamingo walking around here. It's, it's beautiful. Now there's a little house, but that's not a little house. That's the reverse osmosis system of the home. Meaning this house makes its own purified, clean water that's used for drinking, that's used for showering and all of that. It is completely independent from basically society, but it is connected to the main source of water in the system if you needed it. However, they don't use that. They use this reverse osmosis system that's on the property. You hear the birds, they're, they're tired of me talking. I'm tired of it too. So now we're gonna show you this area over here. All right, you have the beautiful water feature into your massive L-shaped pool. I'm screaming because I know it's loud. All right, with the beach entrance right over there for you to wiggle your toes in the pool. And then also you have the jacuzzi at the top right over there, which is really nice, with the blue tile throughout the pool and even on this water feature. It is so, so nice. No signs of any neighbors around you, but come here, check this out. This must be the largest residential tiki hut you have ever seen. You've seen a lot of largest in this home. So this tiki hut has the massive high ceilings here and all this space to entertain. So when it's raining, you don't get wet and you can still entertain out here. Now, if you notice the coral rock wall over here, like I mentioned before, the rock was brought up from the lake that's on this property. Because right below us is all coral rock, just so you know. So entire space here to entertain. It's so nice. It feels like we're in the tropics. Like we can go to the tropics, sip pina coladas, or in this version it'd be, we can go to Homestead, sip pina coladas, shorty we are, are, are there. <laughs> okay, bar over here with an industrial kitchen. It's, I mean, you got everything you need back there. This kitchen is unbelievable with the bar. And this bar actually feels like we're in an island. Like you're on an island here. It's, this is my favorite part, probably this outdoor area. And then you see the birds over here. It's very, very nice. Uh, we come down over here. We'll come back to the pool area 
right? Again, all around us is your property. 18 and a half acres, speakers around throughout, right? It's a great property to entertain. It's a great property to have the party of a century. You can have an, a host major events here. And now we're gonna walk you around to this side. I'm gonna like, actually, why don't we like, just teleport like, just right on that. Right next to the jacuzzi that's right here is the cold plunge. Now there's no water in here because there's a button. You turn this on and this cold plunge gets water from the ground, clean water, down from down, down, down below, and it comes right up and fills this pool and makes it a cold plunge pool. It's absolutely stunning. It comes from like the limestone, I assume, but this is a really cool feature, super, super unique. Uh, right next to this pool. So you got regular temperature, hot with the jacuzzi and super cold. And then we're gonna walk down over here and we're gonna show you the lake that is on your property. All right, this is, this is, this is another world, all right? So there's this path here. We're gonna see where we're headed to right now. We're headed to the oasis, but on the way there, we have this really nice kind of like overhang made of coral rocks. It's kind of like Indiana Jones kind of vibes, right? And then we get led over here to what the owner calls the oasis, right? So this is where you come for some peace, right? Meditation room is great, but this with water and the sound of nature, something about that too, right? We have another tiki hut over here, you know, coral rock wall all behind. Right here, hang out, relax, hear the sound of the water. But this is where things get really cool, all right? Let's step down over here. I'm gonna show you what we're talking about. So here's your lake. It's a man-made freshwater lake, right? With a beautiful water feature right over there. And just, you have, oh, look at the swan, black swan, ducks. Wildlife is around us. It's beautiful, it's peaceful. You have the palm trees around, like it literally feels like you're in another world, right? And then you have this water feature coming down right over here, which is so beautiful. And it was made, Right? We gotta have disclaimers in this video. We're not condoning this behavior. We're not telling you to do it. It is risky. Do it at your own risk, okay? If you do it, we are not liable, okay? I would never do this and I don't recommend anybody do this. But the owner has younger kids and they would jump off from the cliff over there. And according to the owner, it is 30 feet in depth right over here, which was purposely done so that you could just jump and have some fun and that all that property behind and all around is part of this 18 and a half acres now really cool right where we are standing right we're going to show you a video and your video is going to play over me saying it uh right where we're standing there's a tube right up here that you've pulled the lever right over there and water comes flooding down and fills this whole area right here the purpose of that is because you can go in this water but if you are scared of going in the water, this was made just for you. It fills up all the way, you hang out in it like if it's a little tub, a hot tub or a cold tub, whatever, and people are enjoying this too so you can all enjoy the water, right? So that's a pretty neat feature. And just the view here is stunning. Look, the swan are talking to us. That's what I said, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. Did you see that? We're doing, we're doing that together. All right, so that's this portion here, right? And while we're here, might as well just explain what's back there because to walk all of it's gonna be crazy. Um, all the way in the back there, there's a whole trail, right? With little stations with tiki huts for you to sit. So you could walk this whole property sit down at the tiki station, relax, get some breath, fresh air, whatever it is. And all this behind around the lake is a trail as well, which leads you up to the top portion over there too, where you could jump if you wanted to, but again, not responsible for anything that happens. So it's a massive property as we can see. And I think at this point, we've basically covered all of it. All right, it's a lot of property, a lot of different things to see here, but I think we covered it all. 17.8 million dollar mega mansion one of the largest 
homes in all of Miami and currently the largest residence on the market for $17.8 million. All of this could be yours. And get this, best part is that you're about 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes away from Miami Beach. You're about, I'd say 30 minutes away from the airport, 30, 35 minutes. You're about, let's say 25 minutes Coral Gables, 25, 30 minutes Brickle. So you are in Homestead, tucked away from everything. But yet if you need to get to where things are happening, it's not too far away. That's the end of the tour. Make sure you go like, subscribe, and comment. This is a one-of-a-kind property presented by a one-of-a-kind realtor that can help you find your house in Miami. <laughs> See you in the next tour. Peace and love. That's the end of that. That's the longest tour we've ever done. Holy shuzz.